welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be doing a story time um, this is gonna be my first story time i guess in a way if you know you know so this is gonna be the first time i got into any type of altercation with anybody and this one even it's it's for some dumb odd reason and another thing please don't mind my voice i just got flu i don't know who infected me around here i have to go scope the scenery and see who the hell did this and sort them out for real anyways so i'm a very descriptive person i like to describe how a person looks exactly what they did if you know who i'm about to talk about please do not put their name in the com in the comment section because number one me and her were cool we don't talk anymore or anything like that but we're just cool like there's no longer beef between the two of us i hope but on my end i'm good baby i'm good so let us just jump straight into the video so it is the first week of school grade eight and let me let me tell you all something in grade eight i was i was so ugly i know it's not right to say this about yourself but i know being honest with yourself is just the only way that's just gonna work for you for real and i was so ugly eh? i was not lookable in any type of way and i always wanted cute friends i always wanted like i always wanted to be friends with people that are pretty i was like oh she pretty as hell i don't want to be friends with her mm -hmm, i want to be friends i was that type of a girl which is so wrong because i was not even cute myself so what i don't know okay cool fine so i remember we had a teacher that was absent so we had to go to the stands or the field for a substitute i guess so we're sitting by the stands and like in front there is the field and we're just chilling girls are sitting that side some boys are sitting that side and i'm just looking and i'm chilling by myself and then when i turn to my left on my left i see this yellow bone cute nice body pretty face everything i see her and i'm like oh i think i want to be her friend i'm like let me go sit next to her I go and I just sit there like I'm just sitting there as if I'm sitting there like any other normal classmate but in my head I knew what I wanted I want to be your friend cool so I sit next to her and all of us were talking in that friend group okay not the friend group but class as classmates we're all talking we're all talking we're all talking and then she turns to me and I don't know how we started talking we started talking and it became personal fast personal I told her something I shouldn't have told her and then when I realized I'm like oh god and I'm like please don't tell anybody that I told you that because I'm like why did I just tell her that like she does not need to know that especially because I met her in like a few minutes so I tell her this thing that I shouldn't have told her and she's like oh she was shocked she was shocked it's not a shocking field matter but it was just a thing of Mm, that's a bit different you know what I mean like it's a bit different but it was not something that serious serious but I just shouldn't have told her you know what I mean cool we move on I think like the following day we're in drama class there's this drama art class that we're in cool I'm sitting in the second you see ne? second last as if okay this is how it's positioned I'm sitting here and I'm sitting next to my friend and behind us is the last child who's sitting here and then it's the wall like I'm sitting I'm in the second last row okay let's give her a name we're gonna name her I think we're gonna use okay we're gonna name her red because at the time her favorite color was red guys this is me editing I just want to add I named her red but throughout the course of the video I'll end up calling her white I don't know why I forgot that I named her red but if you see me talking about white, I'm talking about red. And my friend, we're gonna name my friend Rose. Yeah, I don't know anybody named Rose besides my cousin. Cousin, if you're watching this, I am not talking about you. I'm sitting next to um, Rose, right? Please bear in mind, this is the first period. This is the first period. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, I'm sitting next to Rose and I'm like, me and her, we're talking. We're talking about how, ooh, 
she would look good with him. Mm, he would look good with her. Like, mm, like he would look good. With... The, the problem started with me pointing and saying, oh, you would look good with whoever. I was busy pointing. I don't know if my friend Rose was pointing. I don't remember. But I know for a fact. I kept pointing. Red. He, she, she, she saw. She's like, why is they pointing at me? I'm pretty sure that's what she said in her head. But she peeped that we're pointing at her. You know, and we're like, but she's pretty though, but she's suited to go with that guy, tap, tap. You know what I mean? We're busy pointing. And she looks back because she's in the front, 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 front row. She's in the front row. Cool. I see her walking down, walking down, coming this way, like towards me or towards me and Rose. She's walking, but she goes to the person behind me. So I'm like, oh, whatever. Because I, I thought she was coming to me, so I was kind of giving attention, like, oh, you're coming to me, what's up? But no, she went to the person behind me. She went to the person behind me, and all I hear is, what are they saying about me? What are they saying about me? I'm not thinking she's talking about me. Or, or me and Rose. No, I'm not, because we're not saying anything about, like... I mean, yes, we're saying that you'd look good with that guy, but we're not saying anything that it could make you speak to this girl in that tone and answer, what are they saying about me? She said it exactly like that. She's like, what are they saying about me? What are they saying about me? I just carry on. Me and Rose, we continue pointing. And we say, oh, but she would look good with him. Blah, 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 blah. Kids, please don't point at anybody. Do not point. It's, it's rude. Like, it's actually rude. It's just that in grade 8, I, I never knew that. That I never know. Never. What are they saying about me? What are they saying about me? She ends up leaving. Like, she walks back up and sits at her spot. I'm not thinking nothing of it, my nigga. Nothing. Next period comes, we go to geography. And I was the first one in the line. And let me just say this, guys. I was a very tall girl. Um, and white was someone who's short. She was sh short. She was pretty, yellow bone, and a nice body. You know what I mean? I'm the first one in the line for the next period, next class, which is geography, which is a different class. So we had to leave to go to geography class. So I'm the first one in the line and I'm just waiting this way. Here's the door. It's open. Here's the door. But I'm just standing by the door but facing this way. I should be facing that way but I'm facing this way. And I'm just waiting with my school bag. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, Ibo. White comes with her short self. Like this. Past me. Right? And I'm looking at her and my eyes just go. Let me show you what she did. Say so you guys are me. I'm white. What did I do? In my, in my head, I'm like, wait, 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 wait. I'm like, why is she rolling her eyes at me? She's rolling her eyes as she's walking past her. In my head, I'm like, what was that about? I, I, I don't understand. I'm do, do, I'm do, do gile. You know, get lost as a person, as a human being, I'm lost. She rolls her eyes at me, I'm like, what was that about? And I'm like, whatever. I walk in class, guys. I walk in class. I'm on the right side of the classroom, okay? I'm on the right side. Her and her friend group are on the left side, close to the teacher's table there. And I'm like, I keep looking at her because I'm wondering, like, what actually, did you actually roll? I want to just make sure. Were you rolling your eyes at me? Or you're just maybe passing me and you saw something on my head? Maybe, I don't know. So I, I looked at her again. And she's still rolling her eyes at me. I'm like, oh. Boy. In my head, I'm like, what's the problem? And to be honest with you guys, guys, like, I was scared. Because I'm a very drama-free person. Like, going, like, from primary, I was not even in that much, like, situations. Because I was always to myself. And I never really engaged myself in any type of drama. So I'm like, I, I was scared. Because I'm like, this is pretty much the first time. First time being in such an altercation, especially in a long time. Because from primary, I had like, I think, three fights. Because that sounds like a lot, but you know what I mean. Her friend group now turns to me. Like, all her friends, like, she had four or five friends. Including her, it was like six or five of them. And they're all looking at me. Like, they're talking, they're talking, and they're like, Yo! And they're like, Yo, Choi! And sis! Like they're saying all of this and I'm like, I feel like that's what made me more scared because now the whole group 
the whole group turning their eyes and they're turning sideways for me. In my head, I'm like, what I do though? Or what I did? What, what did I do? I go to Rose and I tell her, I'm like, hey, this girl's giving me this eye. And I'm like, she's like, ah, just leave him alone. And Rose was a very strong character. Like, she was a strong character. She still is till this day. She still is. Guys, please don't mind. Actually, I'm wearing two jerseys or whatever. Yeah. I'm just feeling really cold. It's cold where I am. So, okay, so that situation passes. So we go and chill. Me and my two friends would go sit and chill under a tree behind the school. It was so peaceful. There was never in and there and stuff like that. Guys, just want to add, I did not like White's friends. Like, White, her friends, they were the worst people ever. Like, they were always judgmental. They were so, they were like kind of like bullies. I didn't like her friends, honestly speaking, like at all. So I just wanted to add that there. So I'm chilling under the, the tree with my two friends, minding my damn business. My beer so great. Fine. I see White walking up towards the tree. And I'm like, I'm like, what is she coming to do? At this point, I was sure that she was coming to me because this is the only place, there only is one tree in this specific area. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm pretty sure she's coming to me. And I'm like, yeah. She's probably gonna, gonna come and say something. Hopefully give me clarity on why she's giving me the dirty looks. She comes and then she's like, can I please speak to you? With this attitude, she came with her friends even. You know when someone comes with their friends, they are hyped up. They are hyped. Let your friends leave. Leave your friends. Let's put your friends out, out of the equation. Let's see. Let's just see. In my head, I'm like, okay, fine. I stand up, my friend comes with me. Rose comes up with me. And we're just chilling. And she's like, yeah, what, what were you guys saying about me? What were you guys saying about me? In class, I saw you guys were, you guys were busy talking about me. What were you guys saying, saying about me? And I'm, and I'm trying to think, like, when was that? Where, when? When? I'm saying about I'm like, I'm in my head. So I'm like, okay. I ask, I'm like, when? She's like, today, in drama class, in drama class, blah, blah, blah. And my mom, I didn't say anything about you. She's like, stop lying. I saw you guys pointing at me, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, since you're so sure that I said something about you, what did I say? She kept quiet. She kept quiet, right? She kept quiet. And, like, honestly, I don't remember what else happened after that. But all I know for sure is... Break was not finished at the time. She ended up leaving and I stayed behind with my friends. And I'm talking to my friends like, she's saying that I said this, this, and this and that about her. And I didn't even say anything about her. I'm telling my friends. I'm telling them. I'm telling my one friend who wasn't there. And I'm also talking to, to Rose and I'm telling like, why? What did I say? That I, I don't know what I say, what I do. I remember. I decided, let me walk down and go to the office. I go to the office, I get what I need to get done, and then on my way out, the bell has rung at this time. Now it's time for us to go to class. The bell has rung. On my way out of the office, tell me why. There's a group of people surrounding the office waiting for me to come out. And it's like almost every single grade eight I know was also there. People are asking me about the so-called secret that I told White not to tell. You know what I mean? In my head, I'm like, how you know that? Because this person just came up to me. And as soon as I opened the door, she's like, hey. She's like, hey, blah, blah, blah. She said the secret after she said, hey. Say that the secret was me chewing my nails. Someone came, as soon as I opened the door, someone was like, hey, Miss Nail Eater. And in my head, I'm like, how you know that? How do you know that? And people are in groups like this discussing the fact that I eat nails. Listen, in grade eight, any small thing is embarrassing. Any small thing is embarrassing for me at the time. Especially because I was ugly. In my head, I'm like, it even makes everything worse. And people are busy like coming to me, asking me, do you actually eat nails? Like what's going on? Blah, 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 blah. And they're asking me, they're overwhelming me, they're just making me feel bad. And and I remember seeing White standing there like this on some, 
yeah. yeah. Her facial expressions were saying, yeah, yeah. I told the whole school that you eat your nails. And I just looked at her and I'm like, you're the most evil girl I know. You're cute and all, but you just not cute. You cute and all, but you is not cute. And I just remember walking towards class with tears in my eyes like, why did you tell everybody that I eat nails? Fine, I walk in class and I remember there was a few of us and I was sitting in the second row. This time I was in life. Okay, it was called NS. I was about to say life science. But I was in the second row and I remember just sitting down and I'm like, my world is coming to an end. Tell me why. White comes in, she goes sits in her in the first row, right? And she kept asking me, she's like, why would you tell me your secret? Why would you tell me that you eat nails without even knowing me? You told me your secret without even knowing me. I remember those words so well, cause I'm like, okay, so I should have known that you were a, a, a backstabber, you were a betrayer. Then I wouldn't have told you that I eat nails, huh? Right? Cool. So in my head, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you weird. You weird. You need to go check the neurologist and see what's up in here. Cause I cannot tell you, but I know something's up. And and I'm like, you know what? I'm like, if you, I said the full word. I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Why it? If I was about to say her name, you know what? Why it? If you, I don't know. It's as if I said the worst thing ever. This girl pushed her table. She's like, what? What did you just say? What did you just say? And I'm like, I'm like, F you. <laughs> I'm like, F you. I turn around because she's in the first row, but at the, almost at the end, I'm like, F you. And I look back and I'm like, she's fighting the table. Like, what did you just, and she stands up, she bangs the, <laughs> she pushes the table. She's like, what did you just say? What did you just say? People end up coming towards her and holding her back. That's when she wants to be kicking on her legs. Like, what did you just say? What did you print in? Print in, my nigga. Otherwise, I will hold you like this. In my head, I'm like, if you wanna fight me, I'm a, I'm a fight you harder because I was taller, bigger, and I was muscular at the time. So I knew I'm like, and plus I was an athlete. So there was a lot of fitness and things I was doing. So I'm like, even if you try and fight me, you small ass, I'm gonna be like, oh, gone to the side. I was confident if she wanted to because I, I didn't know how to say nothing back then but now we, we we're gonna fight both ways here and here but we don't do that pretty girls don't do that i feel like you fight when you need to like she's fighting with her legs when they're holding her pet she's like leave me alone I, in my head i'm like if they leave you right then you're not gonna do anything sweetheart that day passes and i remember that i'm like i'm not i'm not gonna go to school i am not gonna go to school i remember i didn't go to school for days because of this whole situation, everyone was basically asking me, do you actually eat nails? Do you actually, like, it was just so overwhelming. People, like, making fun of me. I felt like, like that time, like, being bullied, guys, is not nice. And then, we tried resolving the issue. And I told her, listen, I never said anything about you. I was just saying that you would look good with this person. You'd look good at that person. You know what I mean? And we resolved that because we were arguing this one morning on some... I can't, I remember I told her, I'm like, listen, this is high school. You can't go and confront everyone that talks about you anyways. Like, I wasn't saying anything about you, but if I were to have said something about you, you can't go around trying to confront everybody on some, what did you say about me? You... And I'm like, this is high school. People are going to talk about you regardless. I think maybe she was touched that I would have said something about her, maybe because she liked me. I don't know. Anyways... I didn't like her from there. I did not like her. And I told myself, you know what? Any opportunity I can get to ruin her life, I'm here for it. I am here for it. This was so evil of me to say, but yeah, that's just how I felt in the moment, honestly speaking, because what she did was also very foul. And back then, I was someone who'd hold grudges, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna hold this grudge on you so you can feel it because you made my first week of high school hell. Not me thinking I'm gonna have a terrible year because of her. So, White did not like my friend and me. So it was just a thing where we just had bad blood. We had bad blood. I had a grudge on her for at least two years. It was so crazy. 
because in grade 10 I ended up making her get into some altercation with one of the most problematic females in the school and they ended up physically fighting and that fight was only because of me I made up something to make that problematic girl angry so that they can fight and they fought physically and white has a scar on her face till this day because of me and I, I actually felt so satisfied after that situation because I'm like yeah you deserve it you really do do I feel bad of course because what was I thinking I was just acting so immature and I don't know why I just couldn't get over the situation because it was something so minor so minor anyways we ended up resolving the issue properly and putting everything behind us after some time after a long while because i really feel like her sharing my secret was the worst part about it and also her trying to get her friends to like pretty much gang up on me and make almost the whole school hate me and bully me that was just something else for me and i i I never liked that at all so yeah I just want to say this is a quick disclaimer I like her she's a very sweet person I just feel like we were both immature at the time and yeah now we're over everything we spoke about everything then so yeah this is the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys in my next video